What's up YouTube, Sodor Railway Studios here, bringing you another episode of my Sonic Voice Actors series. And it's now time for the big red powerhouse himself, Knuckles the Echidna. To say that Knuckles is one of my favourite Sonic characters is sort of an understatement. I've always loved everything about him pretty much. His personality, his friendly rivalry with Sonic, and of course, his voices. So today, we'll be reviewing every English-speaking voice for our favourite Red Echidna. Well okay, that's not entirely true since I'm not going to be including Fred Tatascori or Ryan Drummond, because I haven't heard enough of their voices to express my opinions on them. Also, please remember that this is entirely my opinion, so if you disagree with any of my thoughts, then that's fine, but just remember to be civil about it. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first voice we'll be looking at is Bill Wise, who voiced Knuckles in Sonic OVA. And I honestly don't know what to think of this voice. Yeah, that's one more job I won't get paid for, but I've known you for a while, so I'll just put it on your tab, and you can pay me back later on. Of course! Finding treasure is my absolute favorite pastime! <laughs> hey, I couldn't send you guys into that place alone. Let's go! I mean, I do like the voice that Bill gives Knuckles, but I don't think it fits him if that makes sense. Though I do find it hilarious that Knuckles had a cowboy hat in Sonic OVA, which is probably the reason that Bill gave him a slight southern accent. The other main gripe I have is that he sounds a bit too much like that one happy-go-lucky guy from the Texan countryside. But it's far from a bad take on our favourite Knucklehead. Overall, Bill Wise was okay, but I would have preferred it if he voiced someone other than Knuckles. He gets a 5 out of 10. Next up, we have Brian Drummond. Not Ryan Drummond, Brian Drummond. And I'm sorry to say it, but I'm not a fan of this voice. Floating island to unknown aircraft. Identify yourself. Hmm. Looks like a Robotnik-built flying SWAT bot. Sonic, Manic, Sonya, what are you doing here? You could have been blasted to bits. A Chaos Emerald? Yeah, is it possible that more than one Chaos Emerald exists? I mean, it could be my lack of nostalgia for Sonic Underground, since that's the show he voiced him in, but Brian's take on Knuckles is just way too high-pitched for me. Like, I know Knuckles is meant to be a teenager, but he doesn't have to sound that young. Then again, he is supposed to be like 16 or something, so who am I to judge? But even so, despite my dislike for his Knuckles voice, I do think Brian Drummond did a great job as Dr. Eggman in Sonic Prime. Overall, I don't hate his voice for Knuckles, but Brian Drummond is still my least favourite voice for the character. He gets a 4 out of 10. Now on to Michael McGahan, who voiced him in Sonic Adventure. As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island, always guarding the Master Emerald from anything that could harm it. I don't know why I was given this job, why it was my fate, destined to be here. Forever. What the? What's going on here? Oh no! Something's happened to the Master Emerald! I know, I'm about to repeat what I've said before about having never played a Sonic game, but I still have a soft spot for Michael's take on Knuckles. Though I will admit, he does sound a bit monotone for my liking. Then again, this is Knuckles we're talking about, and he's not always one to get excited. Unless you count Boom Knuckles, of course. So despite me having never played Sonic Adventure, Michael McGahan was still a decent voice for Knuckles in my opinion. He gets a 7 out of 10. Now onto the first considerably popular Knuckles voice, Scott Dreyer. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. Hmm. I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Now, a lot of people consider Scott Dreyer to be the best Knuckles voice of all time, and I can really understand why. When you look at Knuckles' design and listen to Dreyer's voice, you sense that he's a tough guy who's not to be messed with, but can also be relied on. Dreyer does this brilliantly, in my opinion. And his chemistry with the other voice actors, like Ryan Drummond, is simply amazing. And I especially love his line deliveries during Knuckles' interactions with Rouge in Adventure 2. 
With all that said, Scott Dreyer was a great voice for Knuckles in my opinion, but still not quite my favourite. He gets an 8.5 out of 10. And now we have the absolute god that is Dan Green. I saw Eggman on the outskirts of the city. He wanted me to give this to you. Huh. He's pretty cocky. No matter where we go, all we see are ruins. How can this be our future? Like Scott Dreyer, you would not believe the number of times I've seen people call Dan Green their favorite Knuckles voice. But it's not entirely without reason, because I still think Dan does a brilliant job. He sounds tough, somewhat short-tempered, and slightly naive, which are pretty much all of Knuckles' greatest traits. Plus, I also think he did a great job as Vector, and especially Methylis from Sonic 06. Say what you want about the game itself, but he was clearly having fun as Methylis. Again, I may not have much nostalgia for Dan's take on Knuckles, but I can definitely agree that he does a great job as the character. One, or still not my favourite, he's still good enough to get a 9 out of 10. Now on to who I think is the most underrated Knuckles voice, Travis Willingham. Let's just say he won't be bothering us again. Not unless he comes back. Okay there, fella, calm down. We are heroes, so obviously we can and will help. We're a pretty big deal. How do we know we can trust you enough to tell you that Sonic and Tails are a few levels down? I understand that some people aren't too fond of Travis's take on Knuckles, and I kind of get it. He does kind of sound like he's trying to imitate Dan Green. But at the same time, he does kind of manage to make it his own take. Travis's voice is clearly more energetic than the others, which is perfectly fine in my opinion. There's also the fact that a lot of people were put off by how unintelligent Knuckles was in Sonic Boom, but you have to remember that that's a different canon to the other Sonic games, with the exception of Styx. I really want her to be canon to the official one, because I love her. You can especially tell that Travis Willingham enjoyed voicing Knuckles in Sonic Boom, and of course he's the one who gave us the Knuckles approved meme. Overall, Travis Willingham is easily the most underrated voice for Knuckles in my opinion. He gets another 9 out of 10. Now let's talk about Dave Mitchell. No, not David Mitchell. There we go. I agree. I just met this guy and I already don't trust him. And you say that the winner of the tournament gets to keep his car? Sweet! I'll admit that this guy knows how to put on a great race there's still something about all this that doesn't add up. When he first started in Team Sonic Racing, I didn't know what to think of Dave Mitchell's take on Knuckles. I did like the voice, but he kind of sounded like he was trying to replicate what Travis Willingham did before him. But around the time of the Tails Tube series, Dave really improved in my opinion. He finally managed to make his very own take on Knuckles. Overall, while not as good as the previous voices, Dave Mitchell is still a great voice for Knuckles in my opinion. He gets an 8 out of 10. Now on to perhaps the best casting decision for the live action movies. Pitiful. Do I look like I need your power? I was expecting more of you. You're unskilled. Untrained. And unworthy. That's right guys, Idris freaking Elba. I don't know how, but they managed to find a really good voice for Knuckles for the movies. Jason Momoa had apparently been considered for the role, but I think Idris is a much better fit. Fun fact, my next door neighbour, whose kids are also big Sonic fans, mostly thanks to me, said that she wasn't expecting Knuckles to have such a deep voice in the film. I think that just goes to show how good Idris's performance was. He has such a powerful voice that I think goes really well with Knuckles. And he's no stranger to voice acting either, just look at when he voiced Shere Khan in the live-action Jungle Book. Overall, apart from Travis Willingham, Idris Elba is easily my favourite voice for Knuckles. 10 out of 10 for sure. Finally, we have Adam Nirada, the voice of Knuckles in Sonic Prime. And again, I'm not entirely sure what to say. Nothing flusters me, Sonic. Except when you're late. 
I don't need the details. Just tell me who to smash. Eggman's got us fighting the Bandic so he can have Sonic all to himself. And the time we worked together to make Amy that coconut cream pie. I mean, I like the voice. It sounds genuinely tough. But at the same time, Adam sounds a bit too deep for my liking. Then again, he's apparently fairly new to voice acting, so who am I to judge? It's also probably the reason why all the alternate dimension versions of Knuckles and Sonic Prime are voiced by Vincent Tong, otherwise known as the same guy who voices Muck in the US dub of the god-awful Bob the Builder reboot. No offense to Adam Nirada, but I personally think that Tong does a slightly better job. But overall, Adam still does a decent job as Knuckles. He gets a 7.5 out of 10. And that's about it for this video! Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and feel free to let me know in the comments which voice for Knuckles is your favourite. Do you agree with my thoughts, or do you have your own personal preference? If I were to rank the voices from worst to best, it would go like this. Number 9, Brian Drummond. Number 8, Bill Wise. Number 7, Michael McGahan. Number 6, Adam Nirada. Number 5, Dave Mitchell. Number 4, Scott Dreyer. Number 3, Dan Green. Number 2, Travis Willingham. And number 1, Idris Elba. The next episode of the series will focus on Amy Rose, so stay tuned for that when it comes out. And remember to like, comment and subscribe, as well as keep the notification bell on so you never miss a video from the channel. Until then, I've been Sodor Railway Studios, you've been simply the best, and have a great day. Bye! Here I come, rougher than the rest of them, the best of them, tougher than leather. You can call me Knuckles, unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles, I'm hard as nails, it ain't hard to tell. I break them down whether they solid or frail. Unlike the rest, I'm independent since my first breath, first test, feel the right, then the worst left. Born on an island, in the heavens, the blood of my ancestors flows.